As I come fresh off of staff retreat with our team, I am more full of vision and hope for the future than ever before. You know, God has an incredible plan for this church, and we are committed to holding ourselves accountable to seeing His vision become a reality on earth as it is in heaven. You know, one of the amazing things we get to do as a church family is partner with what God is doing in our church and around the globe. And we get to ask Him, how can we be your hands? How can we be your feet? And our heart is global. Every year, we set forth to be kingdom builders, people who go above and beyond our tithes to accelerate the kingdom of God with our generosity. You know, last year in our miracle offering, everyone showed up, we saw the future in others, and we gave $20,000 to help build Majorca Christian Center in Majorca, Spain, to renovate our Children's Cup Care Point in Belize, and provide Christmas for the families in that community. Like, what a beautiful thing to be able to send the funds necessary so that the first church construction project in Majorca, Spain, in decades, could move forward. I believe that our investment into their building was a seed that will lead to many people coming to Christ and living out their God-given purpose. I also believe that as we invest in others' buildings, it'll come back to help us in our provision for our new home for Motion Church. You know, we're partnering again this year with Builders International in our miracle offering. They have multiple shovel-ready projects around the globe that are waiting just for the final funds to go through so they can finish those projects. And now more than ever, we want to help those projects get finished. We want these churches to have a home and a building that matches their vision needs and that we will see churches thriving all over the world. You know, in, in Belize, with the renovations complete at the care point, we just want to come in this year and make sure Christmas at that care point is a huge success. Those kids are not only finding Christ, but they're sharing Him in their communities, and we get to share in their joy. You know, our miracle offering is a key component to how we go above and beyond as kingdom builders to accelerate the vision God's given us to help people move from where they are to where God wants them to be locally, nationally, and globally. So here's what we get to do. You know, we're unashamedly a generous church full of generous people. And yet at the same time, we're not a church that motivates you to give out of compulsion or manipulation. So first, I just simply want you to ask God what he wants you to do, just pray. Ask God, how do you want me to participate in this year's miracle offering? And this call for prayer is for anyone of any age. We are all kingdom builders. Second, I want you to make preparations based off of what God tells you. And third, I want you to come on November 6 to give to our miracle offering and celebrate what we have been able to see God do through kingdom builders this year. Our theme for Kingdom Builders is now more than ever. Because we believe that the vision God's given us is too important to wait. So what can God do with what we are willing to give? So let's start praying, preparing, and getting excited for this year's miracle offering. Imagine when the checks start going out to the projects all over the globe and the shovels start digging and the foundations get poured and the roofs are put in place and the churches are thriving, we get to be a part of this. You know, we've also locked in dates in 2023 for a mission trip to our care point in Belize. So like, let's get excited because we don't just have to imagine what their Christmas is like this year. We get to ask them, hey, what was Christmas like? And we can see the kitchen in action and share in the joy of being a part of a global movement. So let's get serious about praying right now so we can do our part on November 6 and celebrate before the end of the year what God is able to do through us and this miracle offering. It's an honor to be your pastor and I can't wait to see what we do.